Hey guys, back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some leaked stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we have some stuff to look at for Pumpkin Fest, along with an update that I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and look at them. Alright, so this first one we have is of... It's called Spine Padlock. Um, I think this would probably be for, uh, kind of like just the general padlock that we see in places like uh, the Academy. Um, I don't know why this was added, it doesn't really look like it would be a great padlock, like normally the ones that we have are purple. I don't know why this one's like black and white, but this was added. Not too interesting in my opinion. But we also have this, this is called Spine Restrictions Card Flip. So this is for a new update that is coming out where you're only allowed to have one of each pet, I believe. Um, so basically, if you have like three Mucksters or something, um, I'm pretty sure that you're only going to be able to have one of them after the update. It seems to be rolling out a little bit. Um, I did get the new pet book updates today, I think. And, um, this seems to be related to the pet book update. Um, so, I guess you'll be losing some of your pets, it's looking like. And then, here we have some of the Pumpkin Fest stuff. Um, you may have already seen this before. This is called Event Pumpkin Fest. Um, this is what it did look like. Uh, you've probably seen this image. But this is what it looks like now. So, everything looks a lot darker. The sign here now is darker and the orange text is glowing um this shop pretty much looks the exact same the flames were updated from orange to now be green and then everything the pumpkins were updated to be a lot darker and you can actually see the full thing instead of just the chopped off top half so this looks like it will be pretty interesting there is something that we have to look at that um, looks pretty cool. So, moving on, this is just the event shop. Uh, I don't know why I even included this. But, this is called Trophy Exterior Zero Zero Night. So, there seems to be some night update that is coming with Pumpkin Fest. Honestly, it could maybe come today, and this doesn't have anything to do with Pumpkin Fest. Um, because sort of with the night, it could just be that they're going to change what uh, Lamplight Town and uh, I guess it will also include Firefly Forest. We'll look at that in a second. But um, these areas will be becoming darker when it's nighttime. Um, I assume this video will probably be out around 6 or 6.30. So um, I assume that this would probably be around 6 or 8 that we would see the night come if it was today, which I don't think it will be. I think it will be for Pumpkin Fest. But if you want to see if this is just not a Pumpkin Fest exclusive update, you'd want to probably check around the time this video comes out. Now we also have Battle Lamplight Pumpkin Fest Night. So this looks kind of similar to the Starlight Festival battle background that we have. It's darker than usual. Um, the normal one is more of just a light gray. Um, it's not anything like this, or I guess it sort of is like this, just a lot lighter. This one kind of looks like Starlight Festival, as I said. There are some newish things in here, I think. There is a black cat, a broom, and a witch's hat here. I don't think that was there before. We also have some candies, like a peppermint candy corn, and then like a wrapped candy. And then up here, this one is kind of weird. We have a skull uh, candy, which um, don't think it would be important, but it kind of seems like that would be poison. This is what the background is going to look like without any um, like foreground on it. And then this is what the foreground looks like. Just gives a little more um, visibility on the rest of the image but it's not going to be visible in game, I believe. Now we also have this, this is called Dragon Statue Glow Night. Um, so I think this will be for Pumpkin Fest or this night theme that we're gonna be having. 
we also have this, which is called Fog 1. You probably can't see this at all, but uh, it's green. I guess if you tilt your computer, you'd probably be able to see that it's green fog. It looks pretty interesting. I don't know how they're going to use this. Maybe it would be for like an introduction to Pumpkin Fest or um, sort of like when you're battling Hollow Jack or something like that. Um, we don't have any voice lines for Hollow Jack also, by the way. I think some people were hoping that that, that, that would come today. Um, but those voice lines were not added to the assets yet. So we also have this new tile set, which is called Tile Set Arena Gold Knight. I don't know why they keep updating the arena stuff. If they kind of just got rid of the arena, I don't think they're going to add it back. But um, all this has a new knight theme on it as well. Um, this could mean that inside of the arena, we're going to be seeing some stuff that is going to be knight themed. Um, and yeah, it's just a darker version of what we already have. Now we also have the tile set Firefly New Knight. So it looks like Firefly Force is also going to be having this darker theme as well. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. Nothing too interesting here. It will be affecting how Gerald looks. And yeah, it's just a darker version of Firefly Forest. We also have this, which is called Tile Set Forest New Knight. Um, I think this stuff is for Firefly Forest and like the forest in between Firefly Forest and the forest in between your house and Lamplight Town. So that would be updated to have this night theme as well. And then we also have Tile Set Generic New Night. So I believe this is just stuff that is uh, in Firefly Forest and maybe... Lamplight Town and like the areas in between Firefly Forest and Lamplight Town. Uh, I don't really recognize any of these, but I guess that's where they're supposed to be. And then we also have Tile Set Town New Night. So this is again just darker versions of stuff. Um, this dino store that never has been used, uh, it'll have a glowing effect on it, which looks pretty cool. Um, this would be something that we would be seeing in this night theme, and nothing else looks too interesting here. Nothing else has, like, any glowing effect on it. Um, one interesting thing, the owl does seem to have a day, or when it's awake and when it's sleeping cycle, so this could indicate that maybe this will be for Pumpkin Fest in some way, but yeah, that's sort of just a theory. Also, I have no idea what this patch of dirt is for. I have never seen that in-game. Um, we also have Tiles at Town November Night. This one is really interesting. So this looks like the tile set for uh, Starlight Festival. Starlight Festival we have right now going on this kind of makes it seem like we could be seeing Starlight Festival again in November. Now, this does have a glowing sign, just like we saw in the tile set for Pumpkin Fest. So, everything else just seems a little darker. The stars that are normally white are now a more purple color. And it doesn't really look like anything else here has changed too much. Now, we also have tile set town october night so everything here um you've probably seen this in a tile set if you're on the wiki or i think mr inquiry made a video on it so the pumpkins are going to have their light up animation which i guess is for battling hollow jack we also have the flames which will be turning green when um it's night i don't know if this is going to be like something that could be just Hollow Jack making it night time in uh, Lamplight Town. Um, I don't know if this is just going to be an all day thing or if it'll only happen at night, as I've kind of been saying. And then the final thing that we have is Tile Set Town October. Now, this one, um, this is what it did look like 
for some reason they made it so that it's uh, pixelated. As I said, this is the new one, which is HD. And then they added this today, which is pixelated. So I don't know what they're doing with this. And then finally, we do have some stuff to look at in the data. Um, I think it's kind of interesting. So we have this, which is called Zone Unlocked. And then it says Zone is Unlocked. And now it will say Blink is Unlocked. So instead of saying Zone, it will say like Shipwreck Shore is Unlocked or uh, Skywatch is Unlocked instead of just saying Zone. And then down here, we have White Glove Pet Count Free Info Multi. So it says find and rescue blank more pets that have the new tag. I don't know what that's supposed to be for. And then it says white glove pet count paid info multi. So I don't know what this paid is supposed to be. That's a little concerning to me. And it says add these blank new pets to your collection. So I don't know if that'll just pop up whenever there are new pets, such as when we get Slipner and the other two in a few days hopefully tomorrow that's when i'm hoping the skywatch um hard mode version will come out and that would bring three new pets so we may know about that tomorrow um we also have white glove pet count free header rescue more pets white glove pet count paid header finish this task faster white glove helper header how do I unlock this battle? Um, that's another thing that's a little concerning. Why do we have something that says, how do I unlock this battle? Um, that could sort of mean that some battles may be level locked or something like that. We also have White Glove Helper Info Single. This is the way to do it. White Glove Helper Info Multi. These are the ways to do it. White Glove Pet Count Free Info Single Find and Rescue Blank More Pets That Have That Has the New Tag. Um, I guess this could technically be something for hard mode, where it's saying that if you want to battle like Sebelini or something, the pet requirements you had to have like 90 pets or something like that. Um, this could maybe be something like that, where it's just telling you go get more pets and you'll know if this is a new pet because it has the new tag over on it. It could be something like that. And then it says add this blank new pet to your collection. That's for the paid info. I don't know what the difference between the paid and free is going to be, but as I said, it's a little concerning. We also have white glove pet merge free header, merge more pets, white glove pet merge free info single, rescue and merge any of your pets blank more times. So this would again indicate that it could have something to do with requirements to battle bosses in hard mode because you do have to have a certain amount of merged pets in order to do stuff in hard mode. And then this final one says white glove pet merge free info multi rescue and merge any of your pets blank more times which that pretty much seems like it says the exact same thing. And then we have this final thing which says white glove restriction title how do i unlock this battle which again is a little concerning because that means that we could have like level locked battles or something like that or i guess it could be just how do i unlock this battle because you need to have a certain amount of merge pets a certain amount of pets which i guess would make sense for heart mode now a few other things as i said we did get the pet book update today i don't know if it's on all accounts now but I did get it, so if you want to go check, um, you could potentially have it now. Also, there was a new daily rewards, which... How do I even find the... Okay, here they are, login rewards. So, the new one is Hydroid. Um, we also got Pocket down here, I believe that is. Uh, we have the Squally Mirror, which I think was in a member box a couple years ago. Um, nothing too interesting here. We do have a Benial, some Battle Works, I think they're called. Um, if they're having Pumpkin Fest stuff, actually, I was gonna say that this could be an indicator of when Pumpkin Fest will come out. I don't think it will be now that I think about it, because there is a Pumpkin Fest related thing over here. Um, and then we have the Rune Bat, which I think this is the first time that you've been able to get it since Harmony Island was deleted, so... I guess it's only members, so non-members still won't be able to get it. 
Um, we also have this, which, um, this buddy, I think it's been unobtainable for pretty much forever. Um, this was released as a morph, and then it was able to get, are you able to get it as a buddy if you hacked it? Um, now it seems like this is going to be an obtainable buddy. And then Eclipse is also going to be here, so now you can get every single OG epic. I assume that it's only going to be for the pet, you aren't going to be able to get the buddy, sadly. And then everything else is just, like, 50 or 100 gold. So yeah, I believe that was everything that was added today. Hopefully we get the Skywatch hard mode to come tomorrow. And yeah, that is going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.